Here's to day one. We're already struggling. This last 10 days has not gone at all how I thought it would. Okay, so I wasn't really planning on vlogging throughout this month, but normally I'm used to updating people on my Instagram story and I don't have that. So I figured I would do a little update um, every so often. It's day one of officially having my social media apps deleted off my phone. And I am finding it to be harder than I thought it would be. I keep having the desire to go look this up or see that and I'm right now I'm drinking my coffee in my bed and I'm watching a YouTube video on my phone I'm um, on my TV and I want to go check the comments normally I would do that on my phone but I deleted the app and she talked about taking an Instagram photo so I want to go see it but I deleted the app so <laughs> here's to day one we're already struggling it's the day five or six of no social media and on a walk right now. It's February 10th, and this is my update. I'm just gonna be doing my makeup while we chat about this. So one of the main reasons that I wanted to delete my social media from my phone is because I felt like it was preventing me from getting anything done that I wanted to get done. Everything I'm responsible for, I would accomplish, but anything beyond that, I would not. And I felt like I was being sucked into the world of constantly viewing what everyone else was doing and I would think about everything I want to be doing, but I wouldn't do it. So I thought that if I deleted the apps off my phone, that perhaps I would have all of this free time to get everything done that I've been wanting to do. I have deleted apps in the past and it has been helpful. But for some reason this time, things have gone differently. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the fact that I made this big whole announcement and blog post about my social media and how I was gonna update you guys along the way, or if it's just where I'm at in life, but this last 10 days has not gone at all how I thought it would. So at the beginning of this month, after I deleted my apps, I was still watching YouTube on my TV, but there wasn't enough new content from people I already followed to keep me entertained. So I started watching a show on Hulu. And I watched all four seasons of that show really quickly. And then I thought, okay, well, thank God I got that out of my system. I typically don't watch TV, new shows, because that's what happens. And I just stay up all night watching TV. So I thought we're in the clear. Then I downloaded some game apps. And before this, I had no game apps on my phone. It was like as if I couldn't do one thing at a time. I constantly had to have something else going on my phone or in my hand while I was watching a YouTube video or a show or, you know, anything really. Basically, I spent the last 10 days wasting my time on my phone, which is incredibly counterintuitive to the whole point of me deleting my social media. And I'm, and it's very enlightening. I do think that there is a benefit from taking a break off social media and giving your mind a second to be more present every now and then. But I think what I'm learning, at least over the last 10 days, is that social media isn't the problem that I'm having. 
that I am avoiding certain things in my life and getting things done and wasting time. I'm the problem, not social media. So there are a few reasons that could be contributing to the mood that I have been in for the past 10 days, um, leading me to wasting copious amounts of time on my phone and watching TV. Um, and the first one being that I'm still waiting as to whether or not I was approved for the cottage that I applied for. And it's been over two weeks. I did call this past weekend and I did not receive a clear answer. If anything, it made me a bit more anxious and confused about the entire situation. There's a lot riding on this application. Um, my circumstances make it so that I am not necessarily on paper an ideal candidate. And I know that I would be a great tenant, but it's hard to show that to somebody who doesn't know me on paper. So it's definitely a long shot that I would get this place, but I do believe that if this is where God has me going next, that he will work a way for it to happen and I've really just been trying to pray on that and trust in that but I do still feel anxious about it because if we're talking about a timeline here I would be moving in in March and I would be turning 30 in April and I had set a goal when I turned 28 to be moved out of this house that I grew up in by the time I was 29 and then the pandemic hit and I mourned the loss of that goal because realistically I needed to stay here and financially I knew I wouldn't be able to increase my income in the way I wanted to with everything that was going on in the world so there was another opportunity I almost moved out in October and that was put on hold too. And I really felt God saying, stay, get some more things done and then pursue it in the future. And this opportunity came of a friend who was moving out of the perfect spot in March. And I prayerfully proceeded. And here we are waiting. And these are the moments where, um, you're supposed to trust God the most, and I do. But even though I trust God and I believe that whatever happens is meant to be, I know that I will still have emotions one way or the other. I'll be excited, I'll be relieved and happy if I get the place, and I will be crushed if I don't. And I will have to process those emotions. So the anxiety and the anticipation surrounding this is definitely a little immobilizing. Um, and another aspect is that I'm due to start my period any day. And that definitely leads to some insomnia, some depression, and a little bit irritability. Um, so it's possible that I could just be PMSing and I'm gonna like get on the ground moving soon. Let's hope so. Doing my makeup and getting dressed today is a step in the right direction when I do not take care of myself in this way. It just breeds a negative headspace and that's where I've been living for the past couple of days. I am continually working towards getting back on track, getting to bed at a normal time and waking up early because I really do feel that when I start my day early before eight o'clock, whether it be six or seven, my days just go better. I'm more productive and I really would like to get back on track.
off. I have been wearing those braids since Monday afternoon and it feels so good to have them out. Now that I'm ready, I think I'm gonna cut that update here. This has been my 10 days without social media update, and I will continue checking in with you guys over the next 18 days. Valentine's Day. I am currently on a walk with Mr. Schroeder Dog and I wanted to check in because I applied for a new apartment this morning. The unit that I had applied to that I'd been waiting for a response to has not gotten back to me so I'm taking it as um, time to move on and I applied for a new unit Still hoping for a move in on March 1st, uh, which is in a few weeks. So, feels good to be outside, to have new prospects, new hopes for a new beginning. And I'll keep you guys updated on how that comes along. Back from my walk and I figured now it would be a good time as ever to out a notebook and write a to-do list. We're officially two weeks into February and all of my non-working, non-hanging out with friends and family time has been spent playing Bubble Pop on my phone and watching TV. So we're gonna change that. Oh, shorter. Lay down. So I'm going to write down a list of my bare minimum goals for this week and I think the first one is going to be to do one workout this week. Just one. Spare time, one workout. Today I'm going to clean up my desk, I'm going to clean up my room a bit. It's very minimally, it's pretty much clean, but there's always those like little piles of things that um, just don't get dealt with. And. I really want to pull out my sewing machine this week. I have a few different sewing projects that I have been putting off for months and I want to get my sewing machine out. So I think those are my two big, well, there's a few blog posts I want to work on too. So blog posts, sewing, workout. And let's see how the next two weeks go. <laughs> Today is the day that the applications are supposed to be processed for the apartment I applied for and I'm starting to feel um, pretty anxious. So I haven't read my devotional in a while or my Bible and even though I really need to go do laundry and take a shower and start my day, I am going to take five to ten minutes right now just to sit and read my Bible and read emotional and pray, put some worship music on, and um, I know that's going to help a lot. So it's been a week since I last updated you on my journey through February without having any social media apps on my phone and this week has been the first productive week that I feel like I've had this month and um, although I haven't pulled out my sewing machine yet I will be doing that today or tomorrow 
and I spent majority of this week doing a lot of cleaning and reorganizing and designing for my grandma's bedroom. That was a project that I have been wanting to do for a really long time. So I'm super grateful that I spent a lot of my time getting that done. And um, it also was super beneficial in keeping my mind off of waiting for a response from the apartment that I applied for. And um, I never got a response. So chances are that I was not selected to be the person who gets to live in that apartment and I haven't heard back from the cottage I applied for at the beginning of the month either so striking out on the apartment situation um, but I was really thankful on this walk this morning um, one of the main reasons I took this walk is because I got an Apple watch this week and I really want it to help motivate me to get active out of the house on walks and whatever it may be that I'm doing um, and because I've been so busy in the house this week I haven't really gotten outside so not only did I want to get outside but I wanted to see the ocean as you can see right outside my window here um, and I hadn't been down here since Monday and I wanted to read a little bit of my devotional and my Bible over by the water, which is one of my favorite things to do, just to kind of check in and see where my heart is at with this whole apartment situation. Um, and it was pretty crazy because I said earlier in this vlog that while I will be very sad um, to not be moving out in March, that I trust that God has a reason and a plan for the way everything's working out. Um, in the very beginning of this devotional for February 20th, which is today's date, it says, today you'll face things bigger than you, but you needn't be afraid because none is bigger than the one who rules them all for your sake. And it went on just to say a bunch of amazing things. And I always find it to be so cool the way God speaks to us when we listen and when we look to hear his voice. Um, so I'm a less emotional than I thought I would be. I honestly thought I would be broken down and like crying. And while I have felt sad and emotional because I have my own expectations and dreams and I started designing both of these places for how I would move out and really preparing my heart for a March 1st move in, getting a month of living on my own before, two months actually, of living on my own before turning 30. And that dream that I had mapped out doesn't seem to be working out. So I'm sad for that, but I'm also expectant and excited and leaning on the promises that God has given me um, that it'll all work out for the better. So that is my update for today. You may be getting another one tomorrow. You may be getting one at the end of this week. We'll see. I'm sure this video is coming together to be a bit long, but I think it'll be nice to look back at this month and have uh, a little documentation of this process. So hopefully you've enjoyed going on the journey with me this far. Okay. So I just got home and I got a phone call from an unknown number, so I answered it. And it just so happened to be the property manager from the apartments that I viewed and applied for last Sunday that I just told you guys I was pretty sure I didn't get. And because I was in the car, she was like, is now a good time? I'll call you back. I was like, I'm gonna be home in five minutes. So I am awaiting her phone call and oh, I'm trying not to get too excited because part of me is like, she probably is just telling me I didn't get it because I did reach out yesterday and I asked her, you know, probably didn't get it. Can you tell me why? And she never got back to me. So she's probably just calling to answer that question. But there's a chance that she's calling to say, hey, the people we were trying to give it to didn't sign the lease. So it's yours now. And that would be really cool. So I'll keep you updated. Well, I'm back. 
and the verdict is I didn't get the apartment as I suspected. The property manager was just calling me as I had reached out to her yesterday mentioning that I assumed I didn't get the apartment and was asking her for a little advice uh, moving forward and so she did call me and give me that. It was very kind. I uh, It makes me more sad to have lost the apartment because the people running it seemed to be great people and we had great rapport so it's not meant to be. I believe that wholeheartedly and whatever is waiting and to come is going to be so much better than what this would have been so I do have peace about that and I'm beyond grateful that she took the time out of her day to call me and to explain the situation because it is going to be helpful for me in the future with other apartments that I pray for so for now that is the end of the apartment saga I don't foresee me applying for another apartment this month but we'll see We'll see what God has in the store. watching my Instagram takeover with In Common Beauty. Such a huge moment for my blog, Grace and Lipstick. I have been using this product line for years now and genuinely love it. I'm constantly talking about them and sharing um, their company just because the products have been amazing for me and I've loved working with them. Um, and like, retailing their products even in my sister's salon, sharing it with my friends and family. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a big moment I wanted to document. And I apologize for this like weird setup here. I impromptu threw my phone up on a tripod just to document that moment. Um, and I figured I would give you guys an update as it is February 26th. I have two more days of my February fast from social media and clearly I did have to log into Instagram because I did have this job scheduled for the 26th. Um, so I have had Instagram back on my phone for yesterday and today but I am going to be deleting it just for the last two days um, because that's what I committed to and I still have like some things I want to get done before I'm officially back on. Um, part of that being editing this vlog that way when I get back on I have something to show for the month I took off and also I still am a little ashamed to admit this I have not pulled out my sewing machine I know I've talked about it multiple times in this month and genuinely plan to do it but I ended up getting really busy with other things so hopefully today or tomorrow it is Friday so it's the weekend I do have a lot scheduled actually but hopefully I can get my sewing machine out because I do have a project I want to do. Anyways, I think I'm going to end that update here um, because this video is already so, so long and I'll do a roundup of the entire month on Sunday, which is February 28th. And yeah, I'll see you then. Well, it looks like we finally made it. It is February 28th and I've officially gone a whole month without any social media apps on my phone. So today I am in the salon because I did a haircut on one of my friends and I figured this would be a new fresh setting to check in. All I have to say is I really enjoyed this month. It was 
definitely different and it took a little time to adjust but once I got my groove I felt pretty content and happy and if there's anything I learned it's that I'm a procrastinator and whether I have social media on my phone or not I'm going to procrastinate so I am definitely looking forward to putting those apps right back on my phone um, with a new perspective and some new boundaries so I really enjoyed the more intentional connections that I was making with my friends through this month though. I feel like I was texting friends a lot more, FaceTiming, and overall just catching up more intentionally rather than by convenience of seeing each other on social media. So that was kind of nice. Okay, this video is definitely long enough, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey of my February fast from social media. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me know what type of content you like. And if you want to subscribe, you know where the button is. Thanks for watching. Bye. Smile. Get in your bed. Come to your bed. Get in your bed.